Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well. I'm filming on YouTube and Facebook and I'm hoping it works. I've been sat here at least half an hour to an hour screaming, swearing at the things because me set up so bad. My desk's tiny, I'm never getting this type of desk again. It's rattly as tiny things, I've fallen it out, yeah. I've got chamomile to try and calm down. I want to do this makeup look for you. So it's a Taylor Swift look I'm doing, okay? And it is beautiful. And I'm going to use the Carnival palette. We're going to use this. We're going to play about. I haven't done this for a while. I'm going to try and keep it short, but I won't be editing. So um, it'll be a long one, but it'll be short-ish. Like it'll be, sh you know, I'm going to try keep it down. I'm not going to yap on. I'll shut up about it, Lauren. Mm. Ah, I've got like a proper thing in there. You can't see it without us pouring it. Yeah, anyway, let's go. So first of all, I'm going to sit on my foot. I'm in my pyjamas. Martin's watching a true story and I'm going to jo join him after. But I wanted to do this for you because I haven't done one of these in a while and I think they're exciting. I got really excited about it. And this came just before all, everyone, all the family arrived. So I've been entertaining all weekend, so I haven't seen as much. So let's crack on. If I'm looking a bit weird, it's because I'm looking at the different cameras and I'm not too sure where I'm meant to be looking. But I'm thinking... There's a look I've got my eye on, it's Taylor Swift, and I'm going to put the picture in the Facebook comments and YouTube comments. So you can have a look which look I'm going with, and I hope it works. Yes, I think I can. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so firstly, let's put a bit of this. So actually, no, I need me serum, serum. I love this stuff. Where's it gone? I think it is yeah it is i put my other stuff away so this is the super dr super dry super drug naturally radiant balm <coughs> this yeah it's really nice i'm just gonna get that on all over i love something like a background moisturizer to work with and then everything else i've put on top it'll just glide in and then after this it's a shame i'm not going anywhere i'm gonna have to take it all off but doesn't matter, still, I just love mucking about. We haven't done one of these looks in a long time. So I have to make sure I don't put, I've made a little chart on the back of my hand to get the tones right. Whether I get it right or not, I don't know. I might have to use another palette to add in. But I think most of it's in here and I'm excited. So I hope you enjoy this one. I've got all my brushes. I've got everything I need in front of us. Well, I've tried anyway. So I'm going to go in with the Max Robe Cream. And this is the pink light. You know it. You love it. I love it. This is an amazing base for under your makeup. You don't need a lot. And I'm only going to put this. You'll see why. I'm only putting this on my cheeks. A bit there. I'm just putting it where she's naturally highlighted. Now, I haven't done a celebrity look in a while. And I'm going to be honest with you. I've been putting myself off doing it because when I used to do them, I used to get the wigs. I used to go all out. I used to do the whole, just try to look as much as I can like them. And I can't do that anymore. It's, and it was putting us off even trying. So I thought, instead of just worrying and making things too hard for yourself, like I've always done, I'm just going to go for it and do the look like I say it. Make it wearable for you. Because you're not going to have the Taylor Swift wig either. But you might want to wear a look that looks like Taylor Swift. So we're doing Taylor Swift. Where first, I've got a load coming up for you. And I hope you enjoy. So let's go. We've got our pink light. See, this is what I wanted. This is going to come through the foundation perfectly. And if it doesn't come through enough, I can easily pop a tiny bit more on with a little foundation brush. I'm going over the top of it with this. This is the chroma cover. This is the Be Perfect. I'm going to put all the links underneath. Everything that's Be Perfect. I work for Be Perfect as a brand ambassador. And you can use my code. It's Lauren Look BP. You get up to 20% off. And they've got loads of Christmas deals at the minute. Loads of Black, Black Friday deals at the minute. I'll put a link up underneath to their website and the code. Have a look. This people are getting some uh, really, really good discounts at the minute. I'm going to have to find a mirror i'm busy looking for one there we'll go use this little one i'm just going over i do it on the back of my hand but i want to make sure that i don't get any of that makeup on the back as normal 
so she's got beautiful highlight here she's not using any bronzer by the looks of it she's got gorgeous skin and she's beautiful she's got blue eyes so this look that i'm doing is going to look amazing on blue eyes it looks lovely on her it'll suit the it'll suit everyone's eye color but obviously if you've got blue eyes you're going to make it it's going to look more like Taylor swift on you <laughs> if you've got the blonde hair and the little lips to go with it you've cracked it i've got little lips i've got blonde hair but i don't have blue eyes funny enough mine are greenish but people keep thinking they're brown the green like a dark green people keep saying what is it it's um hazel when it's got a bit of everything it's got a bit of green it's got a bit of blue it's got a bit of brown they're not like brown brown my mum and dad were dead dark when well, my mum my dad my dad i'm sure he's got dark eyes really dark but yeah mum and dad had really dark eyes helen's got slightly darker than me the twins are blue twins are like proper blue different tones even though they're twins weird so the twins are my sisters and i've had them over for the weekend i've had an amazing time like absolutely amazing time just checking i've got that coming through see look i have i'm happy i want that coming through because then that's going to mix in with the blush i've got planned and it'll just well you'll see in the picture what i'm trying to achieve for you every look i do i try and make it wearable for you you know, you'll have to excuse us. I've just took some peppermint. I keep tasting peppermint. It's horrible. So if I pull some funny faces, it's because of that. Whew. Just get that blended in. And then go right in the eyes and all. Now she's got light eyebrows compared to me. So. I've got to tell you what I have got. So I want to do a Rihanna look and an Ariana Grande look as well. So they're coming up. I've got Adele coming up. Oh, what else? Um, Emily Blunt. I think she's lovely. She's got that, like, is it quintessential British look? I'm going to have a look for that. Um, what else? Is it the quintessential? Is it that the right way? I think she's British. Is she British? I don't know. Oof. I think someone's coughing out there. Anyway, we're going to do Emily Blunt. And we're going to do... I want to do Kate Winslet as well. And who else? I'm trying, trying to think. So when I worked for The Guardian, we did a load of makeup looks. Just to, like, suit a range of people. I've managed me... So my friend Sandra, our daughter, has got hooded eyes. So we're going to get... It's just Ashley. She's off at a model for us. So we're going to get a hooded eye model. I'm going to do a glasses wearer model for you. That'll either be myself because I wear glasses or I'll find someone. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a bit coming up and I hope you enjoy it all. I'm going to put some eye primer on now. I'm using the Be Perfect. And this is Neutrum. It goes on quite light, but you'll see. I'm looking forward to doing Rihanna. Oh, God. And Beyonce. I've done Beyonce before and Lady Gaga as well. We did Amy Winehouse years ago. That was fun. I stuck some socks under my hair to get the beehive look. <laughs> there wasn't that one. Who else? I've been thinking different looks we can do for you. When I say we, I mean me. It's just that we are talk. I'm going to put a bit under here as well because I am going to be going under here with some makeup as well. So just make sure that's there. Check me mirror. A bit more. Could do with the one here. I know it's not going to sit there. That's better. I'll do it. Just put that there. It's been an absolutely fantastic weekend. We watched... Um, Last night we were watching Down in Love, and there were um so Down syndrome, finding love, and I think it was like Down Under in Australia. Really enjoyed it. It's so cute. It's so cute. We watched the Undateables last time the twins were here. Um, we watched a horror movie and all did. Yeah, we watched the Orphan again. I told we told you about that. That was it. Irritates us. Ugh. 
horrible. Let's get some eyes on. Eyes on. So I've got... Mm, okay, so this is the Stacey Marie palette with Be Perfect. It's a Carnival 3. Love Tahiti. And I've got a beyond. I've never, ever had one of these palettes before. And I love the colours in them. As soon as I saw them on the website, you know what? I'm like, I'm a colour fiend. And a lot of years have said, oh, no, no. Lovely, lovely palette. But the... The colours aren't going to be for me, age-wise. Well, we're going to do something wearable for you. I want you all to relax. And if you do get the chance to get anything dead colourful, try something um, just easy going. Make sure you do when you've got plenty of time as well. Don't go doing it when you're on your way out the door because it never works, believe me. But if you do try along, just practice and relax. Don't have any rules about it. And you'll be surprised how you can feel when you. I mean, it's going to be a shock to you if you're not used if you're not used to wearing colour, but you'll enjoy it. You know, it, you'll, it gets a hold of you. It's, it's exciting after a while. So I done a post earlier saying we're going to be doing this look. Which colours are your favourites? And a lot of these went for the purple. So this is actually quite apt for a night doing the Taylor Swift look I've got. So I'm going to go with this starlight, and we're going to put this as like a background. Hope this works. Yep, it's working. I'm just going to background that out. Could have done with a lilac to go all the way, but this is fine. So she's got a really soft purple. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to bring a little bit of this in but really lighten it out and then a little bit of this soft could do like a silvery tone to it right in the inner corner but I'll show, we'll do it as we'll go so I'm getting my purple on my background should have done amethyst I could actually I'm going to go in with going to keep going with starlight to like, get my background on bring that down there I want to come right up and all Do the same on the other side. I need to keep making sure I get the same on the other side because I'm terrible, you know. I'll do one eye and then I'll be like, oh, God. I'll get this cleared out of the way. So I can put this down. That's it. Excuse me, little mat. It's hurting my wrist. Do you know what? My wrists are killing lately. I think it's the winter. Does anyone else, like, joints kill when the um, seasons change? I'm just dropping the bits been fantastic um in like over the weekend having helen over we can do more of it and i think the next time everyone does a sleepover we're not going to be here i don't think i think we're going to be at the new place i think i'm ad libbing a little bit with the color because i'm trying to make it as like I'm trying to use this palette to use it, but I want to do that look. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can. And hopefully when I post the photo, you'll see where I've gone with it. Now I'm going to go in with this one here. Amethyst. Yeah, we're going to go in with amethyst. Same brush, just a little bit. more of a darker purple it's not got as much pink in as the starlight i just want to start adding some purple because i do feel like that's gone a bit pink and that's not what this looks about it is not a pink look it's a purple look so let's just get that brought in there I don't talk as much when I'm doing makeup, you know, because I'm concentrating. It's really weird. Oh, and I, I, well, I really ask if you're not following or subscribing, please do if you're enjoying your content or even like share it out. Show your friends. If you think you've got anyone like friends that would be interested in all this, please do. It helps massively.
just making sure I'm trying to get the purple tone right I'm gonna get a fluffy yeah big fluffy one go back over with that starlight just to blend it Now we're going to go in with some matte shades and I need this purple. So I'm going to use a different brush. If I can find one. That one? Yeah. I'm going to go in with this one here, Blackberry. And let's bring some dark purple and matte to this look. It's very shimmery right now and I don't want it to be that shimmery. So I'm going to start bringing some matte in. Just make sure I get that blended right out. Same on each. I'm just got to keep making sure I same on each because I'm terrible. I think I know that's why those TikTok and Instagram reels are short. You'll see people doing one eye and then the other eye on camera, off camera. I think I know why because it is really hard to do the matchy matchy the same in a short space of time. It's quite hard. I might need a lighter purple here. So this is still Blackberry. I'm just bringing that in now. Kind of taking away some of that sparkle. I don't want the sparkle to come from that. I want the sparkle to come from the highlight I'm going to use. So I'm just popping this in and bringing it forward. Yeah. It's not exactly the same purple tone as I want, but I'm excited about using this palette. I'm loving it. And the pigment, the pigment, if you've got this palette, you'll know what I mean, the pigment is lush. have a look what have i got might have one in here i'm gonna go in with this palette here and just look for a lilac -y. ah perfect right i'm gonna go in with this just to just soften it out because it is very pink and that's not what i want i want to go with same i'll just use the same brush it's fine clean that off a bit and we're gonna go in with this lilac here this is um hang on daddy cool and this is the this is actually the be perfect mrs glam collab really nice palette i still haven't used these properly yet. i've used those two but i want to get in and play with them and them colors are just looking like they need to be played with because it's winter it's the autumn winter oh yeah see what i mean i see things you know i see things and i get excited shut that a minute i'm going back in there was there a pink in there oh actually actually no i need to go light light we need to do this, we need to do this. We need to mat this out and lilac it out. And I've got nothing on this brush, it's nice and clean. And we're just gonna blend. Just soften that line. I usually use um like a, a soft brown to diffuse, don't I? But I haven't today because there's no brown in this look. It is literally the lilacs and the pur the purples. I'm just gonna soften that out. Always take like a bigger brush. You want something quite long? 
So I haven't done a video on this yet, but I will promise of different brushes to use. So that is for like getting in your crease and you give it, you've got more of a, um, a shorter and stubby so you can got more control. It's like if you want to put a lot of colour on in a short space, like a short place and then blend where this is more for like large blending areas. Then the smaller you go, the more precision. I love using things like well, that, that one. I'll show you as I'm going. I'm trying to find. I did have it. Ah, there, there. So things like this. This is one of my faves as well. This tiny little. This is ideal. For, you know, if you want to go for like you want to put a really dark purple or a black. This is ideal for getting it right there. You know, right in the crease. And then also putting it underneath as well. So you get a lovely diffused area. And then build it on top of that. Maybe with them more. Of, no, that's quite actually. It's quite diffused that one and all. Maybe it's more of a, um, I wish I could explain what I want to tell you. It's hard. It's all, oh God, I've done something to my computer. Calm down. What's that? Oh. Hello, I don't think we've been introduced. We haven't. Right, go away, you're scaring us. Shh, shh, shh. I want to look at that. Right, okay, that was scary, wasn't it? Shall we ask them about the brushes? <laughs> Because I'm, I'm trying to explain it. Well, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Because I don't want this. Ah, right. For in there, look. Short down stub, yeah. So you would go you go straight in with this one. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're not going to go in. We need a purple. We need the dark purple. Not that palette. But I might go over the top of that with that one. Get that there. Let's go in with the purple purple. Hang on. We need to be quick. I'm gonna go in with Blackberry, okay? It's quite dark. You might get a bit mess. So tap off any excess. Just checking everything's working. My cameras have been stopped filming lately a lot. There we go. See what I mean about the brush? I love it. I always have it thicker on the outside as well and then taper it as you get in. Plus, we're going to have some highlight. Oops. Right in the inside corner. If you don't want it too light. So on top of what we've just done, I'm going to go in with a black because I want it to be smoked out because on top I'm going to put liner. So I'm just going to go black beach, the black one. And we're going out a corner just out a corner and then I'm gently putting it up but not by much because she hasn't got it dark like that on the top just on the lower lash line hers is a different type of purple on the bottom so if I put like that I feel a bit better like I've got it just a bit like I said it's way I'm trying to make it as wearable as I possibly can for you pull that in Let's get the top on. You can hear my one of my machines finished. We're gonna go in. No, we need to do this. We need to do the highlight first. Have I got a highlight that colour in this palette? No. This palette? No, I know where I will have. Nope. I'm shocked. I'm not doing very well for highlight. Oh, wherever, wherever whatever put it is in here. Have I got one? Could use vanilla, but that's not the right one. Keep keep going. Keep going, Lauren. Right, I'm going to try muted. Have I got? No, I bet it won't be. No, nah, I knew it wouldn't be. There you Let's try this one. Iconic. Uh, no. No, no, no. How about sync? No, no, definitely not that one. That synchronized. 
I'm looking for a silvery sparkle. I'm going to go in with power, but that's not the kind I'm after. But I need a bit of something. You'll see what I mean. So, taking a longer brush here. Hope everything's still light and fine for you. Going to go in with power. And we're going to just add it in here. No, it's too diffuse. It's not sparkly enough. It's not the one I'm after. Put that there, put that there. Go back in. There's got to be one. Let's just try what's in here. The vanilla. Mm, the vanilla is a bit warm for what I want. I need it to be silvery, to be honest. Oh, hang on. We're getting there a bit. Okay, okay. Keep going. So I'm going in with vanilla. Yeah, that'll do. I'm happy with that. I want to really light this inner corner out. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy it's working, it's working. So this vanilla, it's got a beautiful warm undertone, but as you can see, the silver coming through, beautiful. Bring it along and down, okay? And we're gonna do the same on the other side before I forget what I've done, because I'm shopping. You could actually do with a smaller brush for this if you wanted it a bit more. I'm just making sure I get it on. And then I'm going to go like about a quarter of the way in and leave it there. But look how that's just lightened up the inner corner. We'll clean that up and all. Now, hopefully this will work. Sometimes when you've got a lot of makeup on, you will run into a bit of a problem, I'll show you. So I've got me, this is me Maybelline Tattoo Liner. And we're just gonna do a quick line. And a tiny flick for this one. A lovely little flick. There we go. It's literally a little flick. Go. Right there. <sighs> eyes are running. What you can do as well, if you want, you could put this tape you can put, I think you put tape there, and you get that liner wing like perfect on both sides. I'll wing it, but it catches you out sometimes, especially, like I said, if you're in a hurry, do the tape, because you can get cosmetic tape and it comes off. It shouldn't pull your makeup off. It's good for how you put in highlight and like structuring where you're going to put the stuff anyway. I would definitely recommend that. If I can find some, I will link it for you. I'm going in with Milky Way. This is the liner. This is the Be Perfect liner. Don't forget, use my code, Lauren Look BP. I'll put it underneath for you so I've got all the details. She's got a nice soft line here on here. I'll show you on the waterline. I'm just going to gently put a bit there. I think white would have been a bit too much for the look. But you could totally do white. I'm pulling some uh, crazy ass faces, yeah. But you know, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. Now she's got mascara on underneath, so I'm going to do this look. This is the mascara I want to use, and it's a double impact, it's be perfect. 
So you've got this end for your upper lashes. Let's get this on. And I'm going to do underneath as well for this look. It's a 30 minute long video. It is going on a bit, but to be honest, if I sat and did a full one on my own anyway, like without the chatter, I could probably be here this long. We'll, we'll get the blush on and we'll get our brows done. A bit lip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to set and then I'm going to go and put another coat on afterwards. But I want to get this up first. So this is the double impact. Is it double impact? Yeah, it's double impact. It's dual ended. It's me, one of my favourite mascaras. It keeps on selling out on the Be Perfect Cosmetics website. So I can't honestly say if it's in or not. It came in and then it went back out. Luckily, I got sent one to play with. My other favourite is the Intensify one. I would be using that one. However, I want the other end of this bit. So I may as well just use this one for both. But yeah, I don't know if you can still get it at the moment. So if you can, I would honestly say get a couple in. You want to see the reviews on it. It's brilliant. Let me make sure this is up. Put a bit more there. I'll come back to that. Right, so this is the bit I want. I'm having bottom lashes tonight, guys. I'd hope my videos don't say storage problems because they've been doing it all the time now. I don't know what to do. As soon as I get to the next place and I sort my finances out as well, I'm going to invest in more video filming equipment and like lighting and everything because it's what I love doing and make sure it's all correct. So it just I can come in and get on with it and not worry about it all because it's just, oh, it's a pain. It's a pain. has got on the bottom today so i'm wearing on the bottom i've picked a sapphire today elf i was going to use this but i wanted the pink tone to come through and it's still there so i'm happy that's the uh, mac so this is the elf Let's get my brush out i'm going to use the um real techniques brush this is pixie woo i'm just going to pop yeah happy about that just a, it's literally there and she keeps the highlight on top of there just checking both cameras to see if it looks okay i hope it does i hope the lighting's fine for you all so please let us know and please don't forget to subscribe follow if you're enjoying hang on get back on there missus got it I think actually what I should do is leave the brows here because hers are quite light and I don't know if I've got, I'm going to have a quick, 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 quick look. I might have something. Peelies, I will use this. Yeah. So obviously she's got very light eyebrows. I'm going to use this just to get mine like brushed out, but I really don't need much on there. It's the brow gel. This is collection and it's the Vit C brow gel. This is just to kind of smooth them through, but I really, it's that, um, the honey, it's like a honey colour eyebrow she's got. If you really want the full look, but again, you do what you're comfortable with, what your skin tone, your eye colour, just trying to show you a little bit of a wearable way to get that look if that's what you're after. And I know when I used to do the celebrity looks, they went down really well. But I think I panicked myself thinking I had to do them a certain way, which was getting us nowhere because I wasn't coming on and doing them. So we're doing it this way and I hope you have enjoyed this so far. I'm using the Be Perfect to check my times. Um, a creamy lip liner. This is Romance and it's the closest one I've found on the hand to like what I want. She's not got a lot on. You'll see what I mean in the picture. Now, I've already applied. Hang on, where are we? I already put a little bit of this on before just to get my lips nice and smooth ready. Usually, I would fill in the whole lot, but not the day. 
I literally want an outline and I do want more of this whoops I do putting a bit of the strobe cream there not sure if it's for your lips or you can put it on your lips but i'm putting it there don't don't copy me just in case and then on top of that i'm doing this this is the maybelline lifter gloss this is which one's this this is 006 reef i thought this was quite a close color you'll see what i mean see how that, that sparkle's coming through i'm happy about that I need to get me a mirror. I keep doing this in front of nothing. And then I wonder why I look like a clown when I got a car. Yeah, that's perfect. That's for what I wanted. Oh, want that sparkle. A bit more of that. A little bit. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Now, when you see it, you'll see the purple is slightly pink. It's pinker than what you've got. I'm going to use a different palette for a different look that'll be like similar to that. But this would be like, forget the pink tone. If you go for more purple tone, you've got a, like a bridal look. So we'll do a bridal look similar to that so you can see. But I want to play with this palette today because I haven't played with it all weekend. I've been with the twins and Helen. I've been dying to get at it and do a video for you. But this is 36 minutes long. So that's quite long. So I do apologise. But I really hope you've enjoyed this makeup look. Please, if you enjoy them, let us know. And I'll do more for you. If there's any celebrities you'd like us to try, I'll do it. Try and send us a photo though. So I've got something to work from. Um, or even if you let us know a certain look that you're looking at, I'll try and do it. But I hope you've enjoyed. Let us know. I shall see you on a bit. Zoom, zoom.